Hello and welcome back to Potty on the Rocks, the number one shit talking podcast in the world. In the universe. Yeah. In the country. Yeah. Kings more. In the suburb. Yeah. In surface. Probably not in surface actually. It's very few. Probably the biggest podcast in this apartment building. Nah, those nans had those fucking, had the wines beforehand. <laughs> I don't know. We, well, we're pretty close to it anyway. We're probably at least top three. Yeah. Episode yeah. 40. Yeah, 40. Um, to celebrate, um, we haven't got a guest. <laughs> no, but we have something fun for the visual yes. audience. And fun as in like it's fun for us. So yeah. we've got some tiki glasses. Yeah, to change it up for a little bit. So Luce had four of these in the cupboard. Not sure why. Um, maybe had a tiki party at some point. But um, for the audio listeners, tiki glasses, they're like those sim- somewhat slightly racist. Not racist. Not oh, racist. I don't know. They really think they're cool, they're though. They're pretty cool. They don't really look like some old ones that much. Um, got a tiny penis. Oh, and Just some, like Samoan said. <laughs> Shout out if you're Samoan, you got a tiny penis. Like and comment, subscribe. <laughs> Shout out to your mate um, that you spoke about last week. <laughs> <laughs> Who, Dad? <laughs> no, remember you said old mate. He like at... Um, oh, yeah. Shout to Anton. Yeah, Anton, that's it. Yeah. Sorry, I thought we were talking about a story about the kick gugging. Oh, no. Yeah. no, no. Right. Um, but <laughs> without further ado, let's get into our drink because I'm up feeling quite away. parched. Yeah, we've, we've also, on behind the scenes, had like a 45-minute chat just talking yeah. shit about the fucking what, Maz. What is the time? Fucking... S- oh, yeah, Maz is listening. <laughs> um, same as last week, the Mishka. Mishka, tropical pineapple and lime, 4%. Mixed body. Bosch. We also say Bosch now. Bosch? Yeah. What does that mean? I don't know. It's some guy on YouTube on, YouTube on um, TikTok was saying it. Big oh. John. Big John. Yeah. Shout out to you, Big Johnny. Oh, smells. It actually just smells like a pineapple cruiser. Pretty much is, isn't it? Cheers. Oh. It's just a pineapple cruiser. <laughs> That is really good. No, you can definitely taste the lime. Actually, it's like, actually really nice. The pineapple cruiser with the lime cordial. But these don't miss, do they? No. That's right. They're good. Damn. I prefer these to cruisers. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's because they're not in a, they're not in a bottle. Mm. They're bitter. Yeah. It's really nice. Holy shit. That's so good. I'm actually... I'm Will just we become Mishka boys? We're getting straight... <laughs> Yeah, everyone's fucking like hyped up the cruises and now it's like, <laughs> let's just get on the Mishkas. Yeah. So bring the parties, people are like, fuck that's gay. I'm like, nah, nah, bro, have a go. How many did we get last week? Eight for like $22? Yeah. Maybe? 24 maybe, I think. Like 20. $12 a six pack. Or oh, yeah. four pack, sorry. Very cheap compared Very to Bilson's. Cheap. Yeah. But shout out to Bilson's. You're still my one love. One love. Um, New flavor came out. I literally... Two new flavors. Blue oh, Hawaiian. Yes. And uh, the yeah. Twisted... Twister or Blue ones Twister like a blue lemonade I guess No Someone in the comments Was saying uh, Like a vanilla raspberry Okay Yeah Fuck okay Or a vanilla blueberry like The old the old Spider-Man ice cream The blue, mm. blue and red one Remember that No Okay So I was like Five years old <laughs> uh, Yeah I didn't live in New Zealand <laughs> Oh yeah I don't know if they had Yeah maybe they did Maybe it was a New Zealand thing Um but no, I had like a I had a tw- Not a twist What are they called Cyclone The other night Because of it I was like Fuck I really want a cyclone Lucy had one. Well, Lucy didn't have one. She Is had a bite of mine. Oh! oh, mate. Let's clean this table, you fucking cunt. Yeah, they're small glasses, I think. <laughs> yeah, so I had a cycling the other night. And, like, you got Lucy did. I was like, hey, do you want to bite, baby? She never tried one for some reason. That's weird, eh? Yeah, that is weird. That's, that's, that's the like most a delicious. Red flag. Yeah, I was like, it's fucking oh, an no. Australian staple. I honestly didn't try one until I came to Australia because I don't have New Zealand. But still, like, I tried one before she did. But yeah, she had a go. And I was like, hey, do you, want a, do you want a bite? Bro, we took it literally and just took a bite of my fucking cyclone. Oh. I was like, how strong are your fucking teeth? We can't all be these fucking Nepo babies that parents have money and get braces and don't have sensitive teeth. I don't holy know, shit. I don't know why my head went to it, but I thought you were just going to say she was just going to like deep throat the fucking ice block. That would have been really hot. It was like suck, spits, just and spits suck, it, it. suck off the fucking paddle pole. I would have married her on the spot. <laughs> She's like spits on it before she licks it. I'm like, all right. You're like, why can't you do that to me? Yeah, I'm like, hmm. To be fair, though, on the way back, I did put it down my throat to see how far I could go with it. I was like, it can't be that hard. And I was like, oh, it's pretty hard, actually. I'll give you that. I'll give you that. <laughs> Never just out of myself saying I have a cyclone so thick. <laughs> Some of the comments like, they're four inches. <laughs> they're literally four inches. You, wait, you mean the cyclone, like the mini or the big one? <laughs> yeah. like, wait, there's a big one? You know, it's like, like two different colors, like two loops. That's about it. It's like... 
<laughs> Al- Alice has got like the big one. He's like, oh, what? There's a bigger one. <laughs> it's like a foot log cyclone. <laughs> Uh, we're waffling. Ooh. <coughs> yeah, the foam. It's a bit fucking rough, eh? The yeah. foam's like gassy. <laughs> yeah. Well, I guess I it's all know. the carbonation. Yeah, but it like kind of hurts your throat. <laughs> yeah. uh, people at home listening are like, "What? What's going on?" Yeah, um, I'm going to rate this drink. I'm actually going to rate it a um, eight point two. Eight point two. Yeah. Yeah, half mine landed on the table. Yeah, I'm trying to think what else. That's um, really fucking good. I what like I rate it. last week a solid eight, right? Oh, I can't remember. Oh, this is probably going to be a, probably eight point two as well, honestly. Mm. But better than last week. But these are fucking delicious, man. Mishkas don't miss. Nah, shout out to Mishka. And I just go to school. Him school. Sorry, I still to fucking. I just had an awesome. <laughs> you went know, to a I, school. I went to a school one time, and um, there's a guy Mishka there. I, I was a student. Um, yeah, she was hot for. Uh, that's such a weird saying that. Do you remember how, like, I'm going to waffle here um, before we have our drinks. But do you remember you're like, Dan, that girl was hot at school and you're talking about, like, someone in gear five? But in your mind, they're still hot because at that time, she was hot to you? No mm, comment? Yeah, no, yeah. I do I do see what you're saying. Does like, that make there you was a pedophile? some chicks in, like, grade seven that were hot and... um. I never went. To, I never saw them again after grade. Yeah, seven. Yeah, but you're, that memory of them is in grade seven. But you think they're hot because you're like, oh, yeah. you just think of it as that, and that time when you last Shout time. Shout out saw to them. you, Madeline. But to be fair, though, if I can, that's why you never saw her again. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, but like, if you actually saw them, like a ki- picture of them as a kid, now your school photos, you're like, yeah, nah, she's not hot anymore. You know what I mean? Mm, yeah. But your mind's eye because you had those thoughts back yeah. then. It's still okay. Yeah. Well, yeah. the thing is, I feel like mine's all right because they were like, we were twelve. So like, that's okay to you. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Oh, hold on. Hmm. 40 and final episode. <laughs> oh, yeah. Episode 40, by the way, people. We said um, in the beginning. Did we? Oh, yeah. uh, fuck. <laughs> Cheers for coming. Um, might be our last. Yeah. Or could be our first of many. We did take your money and we're leaving. Yeah. Thanks for the merch. Not coming out. <laughs> yeah. Stay tuned um, to the uh, Instagram updates because, yeah. Yeah, you'll get close eventually. Just chill out. Just chill out. All right, well, without further ado, let's stop talking about fucking kids and... And Well, this is going to be hard. It's a bit different, isn't it? (sighs) I spilled mine a little bit. It's like hard to know where the bottom was. No, that was confusing. I thought, yeah, legit. (laughs) Lucy's fully like... In the middle of a fucking course. Yeah, it's like she's doing a tutorial in the room right now. Um, it's fucking funny, bro, because I thought it was done as well. And like, I went, oh yeah, cool. And we like fucking yeah. head tip and just spooked down my side of my tree. But I also, pissed my pants. Also, another thing, did you hear the sound when it made you? Were when like you were like slurping. It was like. Oh, yeah. You were slurping it. Fuck. Um, spe- speaking of slurping. <laughs> Yeah, I was going to get into a sponsor. Oh, okay. Well, I'm just going to start making up fake sponsors until we actually get one. <laughs> yeah, okay. Fleshlight. Me and Jackson are both going to get fleshlights molded to our, for our own penises for the fans to buy. Yeah. And all the proceeds will go to us. Yeah, that makes sense. It's going well, to be on a lead tree. We definitely know that Jesse will buy one. Yeah. Why, Why not? It? Yeah. Well, it, does, it makes no sense not to. They'll obviously be quite cheap because they're smaller than usual fleshlights. Yeah. This materials and shit like that. Yeah. Also, uh, I'm thinking about now. Actually, making your own dick. You have to. You have to stay hard during it, eh? Yeah. How could you stay hard? I um. You'd have to take Viagra. Yeah, true. That makes sense. It's got to come with a fucking a Viagra for every clone, Willie. Yeah, you would have to. Eh? Otherwise, <laughs> bro, it's like it's like starts big and goes small halfway through. And it's like a weird like middle. Speaking of Viagra, um, so do you know the company called Pilot? Yeah, yeah. This I is do. where we get into our sponsor. No. Yeah. Um, through we sponsored by Pilot or Blue Chew? No, I mean, that'd be cool. It would be cool. I'd love to be sponsored by Pilot. And, They're and awesome. And we're not PC, so it would yeah. sort of make sense to have us. Yeah. On. They're really it cool, is, actually. It is on brand. Um, Blue Chew, sponsor us. Or, <laughs> or Pilot. Pilot's the Australian one. You know, Blue Chew actually sponsors, like, Come Town and stuff like that. Yeah. Like, full, like, actual racist Yeah, psycho. Mike Malak as well. Yeah. When he was dating Lana Rhodes. Yeah. Like, he got those. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, what I'm saying with Pilot. So, I keep seeing these ads. I don't have erectile dysfunction, by the way. 
Did you ask my missus or <laughs> my ex? I mean, you've, you've got a kid, so it's yeah. like it yeah, probably yeah. works at least once. Yeah, it did. You see, the, you see a soft, weird wank. <laughs> it's like flapping around a fucking ham, ham and cheese. Oh uh, fuck! But yeah, um, I keep seeing these ads for Pilot, and it's like the blue pill is it lasts like eight hours, let's say. Yeah, the blue pill lasts eight hours, and your heart your, is a rock. Your heart yeah. is a rock. You're ready to go, like then and there. Yeah. Then there's a yellow pill lasts thirty six hours. So it's like if you need but to fuck on the But day. you're not hard, but when you need to be, you will be. So it does like increase your blood flow and stuff. Mm. Yeah. And I was like, Do you have to be prescribed for that? I think you need to do something for the thirty six hour one? I think this would do with your heart because it thins your blood. Mm. So like, I hope you can have heart attacks from fucking Rager and stuff. And if it lasts too long, you're supposed to go to doctor because you can die. Okay. But um should we just get on pilot for Oh, actually a good idea. We would do the boxing match, the wool of wrestling, we're we'll just give everyone a drink beforehand and just spike them all with fucking that. Viagra. And so we don't know why they're getting hard and getting kind of gay. We'll come in 29th and 30th, so it'll be fine. But for the first half an hour, there's going to be people wrestling and doing weird shit and all getting hard and not knowing why they're getting hard because they're not gay. That'd be funny <laughs> as fuck. Speaking of getting hard, though, um, I like the other day, like I had this the biggest thought. I was like, fuck, should I just start doing TRT? Which is testosterone <laughs> I've been talking about all week Testosterone replacement therapy I've actually thought about it I'm not even kidding And like I'm like oh wow I mean Joe Rogan does it I'm just going to go to the doctor And say I'm a woman that wants to be a man <laughs> And then get tests <laughs> But like Joe Rogan does it And he's open about it He got some teddies um, The Rock is definitely on steroids Yeah Chris Hemsworth gets on steroids Yeah I just, maybe let's just get rid of the stigma. A lot of people already have got rid of the stigma. The only thing is, it's the like stigma for science. Yeah, um, for me, it's honestly, it's the vanity, it's the back back knee, it's yeah. the scarring that scares so me. So you're bro. not you're not scared of the um like increased heart problems. Nah, bro. If I die, I die. I just don't want to look ugly. <laughs> I don't think you think steroids will fix that. <laughs> Bro, bro, you know as we looking at my fucking face, bro, I'm like fucking like like my chest is this fucking big. When you're you know standing what I mean? over them, fucking, I'm like a lot of those bodies aren't good looking. They just got mad big chest. Well, I, I um, it, I thought about it so much. I actually messaged our friend that does. It. Oh, really? Yeah. Where can we get him on the show? And um, uh, I mean he he might. Who just can't bring up steroids. Yeah. Um. Oh, well, I think he's open about it. Shout out to you, Alistair. I spoke to him, and um. Yeah, I mentioned TRT and he was like, oh, that's... I was thinking about maybe doing that next. But then he, <laughs> Fucking hell. But then he was like, um, he's like, at the, I think he said at the moment I'm, not, I'm on nothing. Yeah. But then he mentioned something that, that he took to lose weight and gain muscle. And I was like, oh. What was that? I can't remember what it was called. And but It was like something that was S? I really can't. I not think he's really like that. No, no, no. It's like a... It's a steroid. Yeah, okay. But, um... Yeah, and I was like, fuck. And I was like, fuck. What's the downfall and what's the positives? And yeah. then he's like, positive. Give us a like, risk, risk analysis. Yeah, no, <laughs> legit, I, I went with the negatives first. I was like, give us the negatives. He's, he's like, um, increased anger. And I was like, oh. Belt count with Jim. Okay. Uh, he said, um, hair loss, but that's only if it's in your genetics. Yeah. Um, acne. Uh, that only if in in your genetics, um, and then there was something else. There was something else he said. It's probably like the most important one. But yeah, the positive cancer. <laughs> the positive ones. He was like, yeah, no, you lose fat, you will gain muscle, you will gain bone density. Um, <laughs> that doesn't seem yeah. He's like healthy. He, he's like <laughs> you gain bone density. He's like you just become a fucking god. Yeah, he's like naming all these positives. I'm like, wow. So you gain an inch of cock, and, like, and, then, and then he's like, honestly, overall, like everything's just better. And I was like, hmm. <laughs> <laughs> That's what people tell you about when they start smoking meth. I'm like, you know, <laughs> they're what? Like, like, yeah, you might lose your teeth, you might, you know, get a bit crazy on it, but also you're always awake. You have a great time. <laughs> you lose a lot of weight, um, and just you feel better all the time. <laughs> and only three sleeps till Christmas. <laughs> but yeah, <clears throat> this bloke, um, what he said to me was, um, he said he'll he'll talk to the person he knows. <laughs> And he'll get back to me with a price because I did ask. Let me know when you get the pricing. Yeah. I mean, you won't need the fat loss one though. Bro, just think about how lean I'd get. Mm. I'll be fucking yeah, muscly could, as fuck. You might cunt. die. 
Nah, bro. I'll just start, I'll just start <laughs> as eating. As long as I don't look. I'm going to get acne, bro. <laughs> but yeah, um, well, if it's in your genetics, you could get it. I've never really got bad acne. Like, back acne's what I'm scared of, though, from roids. Um, well, anyway, he told me to get back to, to me with the price, but then he's like, I would recommend you just stay natural. I was like, oh. I was like, now Yeah, that everyone bigger than me recommends that. The dogs. I'm like, now that you say that, I'm like, oh, yeah, maybe I should. I, don't, I really don't care if I'd be natural or not. Because I'm not trying to fucking win bodybuilding competitions. I just want to well, look good, man. Well, the thing is that I thought about me not caring about being natural is we spoke about it last week. I went to the doctors and asked to get something to help me lose weight. Yeah. That would not have been a natural way of losing weight. Yeah, so true. So, like, in a way, it's not natural. And technically speaking, if you're drinking protein shakes, you're... Not natural. But if you're in coffee, you're not natural, mate. Well, the thing is, TRT, right? Testosterone replacement therapy. Yeah. Your body creates testosterone. Your body creates creatine. Your body creates protein. If you're taking protein shakes, creatine, and t- and testosterone, it's all things that your body takes, but technically testosterone is the only one that's unnatural. Yeah. But you can take creatine in a drink form, protein in a drink form. Bro, and- vitamins. Fuck it. <laughs> But, like, <laughs> technically, who gives a fuck about being... Let's just see how big we can fucking get. Yeah, Toey, come on. Let's go. No, nah, I actually told Toey. Toey was like, no. He's like, no. What? He's like, fuck that. I was like, bro. Are you imagine what Maz on roids? Holy shit. That car could lift a car. Imagine all the boys on roids. Bro, boys... Oh, well, as we're getting to it, fucking... I see you got Mad Monday up there. Yeah. Is that boys weekend? No, it's not, but it oh. can be. I think it's the same weekend, isn't it? Yes. Yes. Well, we'll get on we're on roids. Well, okay, let's we're going to put it out there now. We're actually we we haven't even discussed this, but we're going to discuss it right now. Yeah. Um month away. Uh yeah, a month away we're going to do the boys lunch. Look, we know for some people, I'm going to say Jesse, um you probably won't it's be able to make it. Impossible to get to it. We um we did send set it pretty late. Yeah. We're going to do it on NRL grand final weekend. We're going to make a group I'm going to make a group tonight. Yeah, done. Um, if you're invited, you're invited. If you're not, you should have been a better fan. And the thing is, we have the Monday off. Yeah. Simple as that. Suck a cock. <laughs> get there or don't get there. But what we're going to be doing is lawn bowls. And we'll make a day of it. We'll fucking go there like midday. Yeah. Go all the way through, watch the NRL grand final yeah. together. Charge on. Come back to here for drinks afterwards. Yeah. And then we'll fucking yeah, get amongst it. Get amongst it, maybe. See who survives. Maybe head. We're not going to go to like a club. But, but we'll maybe go head fucking to like a pub or something. Yeah, beer garden or Yeah, whatever. we'll get off. Yeah. yeah. Make a night of it. Yep. So we, we hope to see you there. It's like me, you, and Maz. <laughs> yeah, it's she's the boys. Oh, sick. Totally, yeah. mate. Mike comes for a little bit. Um, Mad Monday. So what I wanted to get into here is obviously NRL teams do Mad Monday after a game. After a shit season, Bulldogs. Um, maybe one of the shittest teams this season. Well, I think they finished fourteenth, fifteenth. Um, Who got one spoon? Tigers again, back yeah, to back. Makes sense. Yeah, back to back spoons. Um, but yeah, doggies. So over the last few years, there's been lots of shit that's come out from Mad Mondays. You know, players getting naked, all shit that's normal. Yeah, but. Just people just being fucking But because Americans. there's fucking cameras pointing at them, they get in trouble. Yeah. So, like, you know, like I play... Mon- a- Monsters fucking table shuffle. Yeah. Yeah. You know, just shit like that. And it's like, it's just boys being boys. Like, fuck, if you... You've, you've just played... You've just in your whole year of work. Yep. You can't... You can enjoy your fucking holiday, Let you know? your hair down. Yeah, yeah. Seriously. Anyway, um, the Bulldogs have decided to postpone or... Not do Mad Monday. Get fucked. This is what they've stated. Uh, Bulldogs have chosen not to do Mad Monday, but instead have chosen to go down to their local homeless shelter to hand out food all day. Get fucked. Bro, imagine imagine being in the Bulldogs, losing every game pretty much, playing like shit. Your whole game plan is just past the Addo car. And like you don't even get a chance to do, play a game. Get, you, get, get, you never get a, once you go to the Bulldogs, you never get a chance to shine to try and get out of the yep. Bulldogs while Addo car's there. Yep. 
Because anyone ever care, anyone cares about that? No, it's that like, card. oh, give give the ball, Matt Burton. He'll put up a bomb. <laughs> pass, <laughs> pass the ball out to Adokar, and he'll run fast. Yeah. I see. I even know the other winger's name is because of this. Yeah, it was what but, your name? No, I don't. Know. No one does. That's I, why. Yeah, I think they've chopped and changed all year, so yeah. I wouldn't have a clue. Um, but that that's so funny. Like you're the one of the shittest teams in the NRL, and you're like, fuck, at least get to hang the boys and Mad Hunters. Fucking get into <laughs> it. Get away from the fucking messes. And it's like, oh, we got a homeless shower. What the fuck? Well, people in the comments. Monsters doing lines out of like girls' assholes. Yeah. And you're just there at the homeless shower smelling like an asshole. Yeah. But like people in the comments have said, they're like, oh, no, they're definitely going to do a Mad Monday, but like they obviously just don't want it to be the center of attention sort of thing. Weird. Like the boys will obviously still go drink. Yeah. But they might not do it in public. At the homeless shower with the fucking. <laughs> yeah. Fuck, get on the cracky. Bro, imagine just punching up some homeless cunt. <laughs> the fox is just taking cunts out of the homeless shower. Oh. Bro, that's actually so annoying though. Like, no one's ever done that. It's, well, imagine your boss said that. Like, oh, hey, boys, not a Christmas party this year. We just got to go down to the local homeless shower instead. Yeah. I'll be like, oh, cool. I won't come. Yeah. yeah like, oh, sick. Well, well, me and the boys know the pub. I'm sick that day. Yeah. Oh, it's all Saturday. I'm like, yeah, I know. <sighs> oh, it's not a work day then. <laughs> I chose to come. <laughs> yeah. But nah. yeah, how fucking bullshit's that? Fuck that, man. But speaking of bullshit, you've got Alien Superstar. Oh, and right. I think I know what this is. Yeah, I think Maz has probably brought up enough times. Oh, okay. Oh, maybe, no. Maybe not. Oh. Or was it? It's a few things here. So, um, I'm going to a party this weekend, and the theme is Alien Superstar, right? Yep. It's um, one of our friends, Caden. Shout out to Caden. He's starting a podcast very soon. Um, look for it when it comes out. Can't remember the name right now. Yeah. Um, one of my girlfriend's best mates. Um, very, very gay. Very gay. And it's a Beyonce-themed party yep. for Alien Superstar. I'm like, what the fuck do I... What, what, what is that theme? What do I fucking wear? <laughs> I Google it. I have no fucking idea. Is it gold or just like Space Jesus? I don't know. All I know is Maz is very angry about it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Maz thinks it's big gay. Big gay. He's like, <laughs> it's like, it, it's it's very like, I'm, I think it's going to be fun to dress up kind of gay. Yeah. It's like once, a, once in a lifetime kind of thing. It's like, oh, the party was like a drag thing. I'll be like, if all the boys do it, it's okay. Well, like you said the other week, is it gay to be a homophobe? Dude, it's so much gayer. So Matt Being scared of gay dudes is literally not, the big, like. Not that Maz is a homophobe, by the way. We don't want to. I know. I've never seen kiss a dude. Yeah, True. True. That's true, Maz. You never yeah. kiss it. He's like, watch me kiss my brother then. <laughs> You're like, what? <laughs> Insist over <I'm> insist. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, um one thing I do get what Maz said though, he did say that Caden was okay with people not dressing up. And Maz was like, Why didn't you just tell us that? Well, he it was only because people had such a big backlash about it. Okay. Like everyone oh, had to okay. cry about no one to dress up. And it's like Say if oh, I was, yeah no okay no I get that now because if it was my birthday and I was like oh it's superhero themed yeah and then everyone was like, like oh, no I don't want to I don't, dress I'm up. not a gay cunt why should I wear that and you're like oh fine just don't wear anything then yeah that's what yeah. it's like it's sort of like um Toei's birthday like Toei said the nineties or whatever theme bro tell us superheroes motherfucker huh <laughs> bro tell us superheroes oh I I wanted to get Christian. Well, that's all I heard. Like, it didn't come to fucking superhero. <laughs> but yeah, but like, and Maz all week was like, oh, I'm, I don't want to dress up. And Toby's like, oh, no, like, you don't have to. But it's like, I don't know, in a way, I would find that annoying. Like, if it was my party and it was like, oh, it's dress up. Yeah. Like, I'd just be like, oh, it's dress up entry. That's your entry. Yeah, I'd be like, oh, yeah, it's Pimps and Homes, Or it's $30. <laughs> that's fair. That's a yeah. way better way to do it. That's smart. $30 entry, you can and pay it's me. And BYO drink. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And food. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, when when they come in the door not dressed up, you put a red wristband. You're like, oh, you need your wristband? Yeah. They put it on, and then they go up to the bar, and they're told not to serve you all night. Yeah, oh, you got a red one. Oh, 30 bucks. Can I see your wrist, mate? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I got the red wristband. What does that mean? <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, You're bar. a sad cunt. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you didn't dress up? Oh, yeah. no drinks. Fuck, security. <laughs> um, <laughs> but yeah, but have like, you got your outfit? Like, if I feel like I'm doing a party, right? I don't know, like a Halloween party or something like that. And I'm like, yeah, everyone, you got to dress up. Because if you don't dress up, everyone else does dress up feels like an asshole. Yeah. That's the thing. Everyone's got to do it together and it's fine and no one cares. Because as soon as someone doesn't do it, you feel like an asshole and don't want to do it either. It's like, fuck, well, then dress up. Yeah. I'm just having a random thought right now. This is so off topic. But we have a mate. I'll say it off air. But uh, we have a mate that went out clubbing and he brought a chick home. 
They were out clubbing for like four hours. He brought a chick home and ate her ass without her showering or mm. anything. So he's just a sweaty Damn. asshole. I've even fir- done that. And I've done some fucked up shit. I haven't done that. First time that he's ever eaten ass too. Yeah. <laughs> so he doesn't know what's good and what's not. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Bro, what, what possesses you? Have, you a, just- have a guess. When you just said asshole, I was just like, yeah, that's funny. I was making that joke the other day to the person. Have a guess. Who is it? No, just have a guess. Of who the person is? Yeah. Fuck. <laughs> it's <laughs> God. It's straight up. I'll beep out the name. Yeah. Bro, you've said it like five times just then. It's going to be beep, beep, beep. Yeah. Cool. I got it right. But yeah. He got it right first attempt. I was going to say Sonichu. Have you got anything else more to go off on... What dress are you talking up. about? Dress up. Yeah. Um, this episode's just been like... It's been a fucking waffle. Well, I mean, um, in, for dress up, I guess, like, what should I do for my next birthday? I was thinking, like, um, just go with something fucked it's up. Like, a year like, away. It is a long way away. Um, or maybe next time I have a party. I don't need to... F- I got a place now. I can just have parties whenever I want. Um, I don't know. What's a good What's a good theme? Like a comment. Choose a theme. Um, but maybe, like, racial stereotypes? Yes. And then it's good because everyone goes in blackface. If someone doesn't, it's like, you're a fuckwit. I could finally wear my Muslim outfit. (laughs) (laughs) You're like, what? (laughs) I got this, like, bomber vest. (laughs) Bomber jacket. You get out of the Uber and they're like, whoa, whoa, whoa. (laughs) (laughs) No, no, they wouldn't let me in the Uber. No, they're like, okay, where you going, man? (laughs) No, the Uber Uber driver's like, ah, very good. He's like, don the car, though, don the car. (laughs) (laughs) New car, new car. (laughs) Just just go clean seats. (laughs) No blow up in here. <laughs> you do not blow in here. Ah, you, you do go- not blow in here. <laughs> ah, you go boom. <laughs> Bro, uh, I can already tell Maz and Toy you're angry. You're like, oh, that's the most racist episode you've ever done. So far. But um, you know one thing I've noticed? I've noticed our listeners have dipped again. But, hey, it doesn't matter because I actually thought about it the other day and I was like, you know what? Me and Connor do this podcast... Connor doesn't even listen to it anymore. Fair enough, he can't. Yeah. I, I listen to some of them. I yeah. can't listen to everyone, though. I don't have enough time every week to get yeah. into it, you know? Yeah. We're supposed to be doing your own phone calls every day. But that's mm. besides the point. What I'm trying to say is we don't, like, we don't get any feedback for one besides, oh, you're too racist. Yeah. From you and you, Maz. <laughs> and Paris, Paris said you gave me one last week, or this morning shit about last week. She's like, I can't, I honestly, I can't listen to it sometimes because, like, she's like, when you guys talk about sexual shit. And I'm like, I tried to bring sexual shit into it. I was like, I don't want to paint a picture for you. But it's weird. I was like, <laughs> yeah, I get it. Maybe I, we just got to do, like, a Paris warning. Like, yeah, Paris, skip like, this part. Paris is a warning. One time. Um, no, I can't even say anything. She won't. She won't warn her. It would just be awkward and creepy. Um, but yeah, what I wanted to say is, we basically we sit down, we do this podcast, and we basically just chat shit. Like this whole episode has been shit. Yeah, not shit as in like we hard came to in like to. we have nothing to talk about. Let's just start. It up. Yeah, <laughs> and we're just we are absolutely waffling. But you know what? We don't care. Look, we do I the the hard liquor before we started this. We yeah, <laughs> we do this for <laughs> our enjoyment. The bottle. Though. We do this for our enjoyment. Like, yeah, we don't like. Oh, it yeah. breaks up the week well. It's awesome that you guys listen to us. Absolutely love that shit. But like, at the end of the day, we enjoy just doing what we're doing. We do it anyway. Like, yeah. So even if it was just fucking me listening, we'd still do it. I've never even. Well, how many views do we get? Oh. I feel like each episode that gets watched is around like fifteen. Fucking hell! Why are we doing this, man? But then like, like, it was like a thousand. What the fuck are we doing? But then like <laughs> audio is like yeah, around the same. It's like thirty in total. Nice. It's like it's it hasn't really dipped a lot, but it's like yeah. There's Lost been one or two. There's, there's been some months where it's been like well, we have thirty listeners. Yeah, yeah. You know, but like again, we don't do this. Look, we're not. The numbers aren't dependent on I'm why. I'm not trying to fucking quit my job anytime soon anyway. Yeah. Like, I mean, if I could, it'd be great. Yeah. Cheers, guys. But, like, uh, it's enjoyable. We'll keep doing it. It's fun. Yeah. Well, what, I, what I'm trying to say is, <laughs> well, you guys at home are not, like, the reason why we do this. We do it because <laughs> we enjoy it. We love you, but we don't need you. Well, no, in a way, that's what it is. <laughs> I, like, without sounding rude or ignorant... It's like, in a way, that's what it is. Like, we, we, all we, would, whatsoever. we would do it regardless of 
Yeah. If they were listening or watching. No one's listening. So we just, you know, just instead just point them out. We just put one TikTok instead. Well, next week we're just going to do this in front of a mirror. No camera. <laughs> yeah, we're on record it. But yeah, we put an episode that was mad. Who listened to it? Oh, us. Yeah. We, me and Jackson even use microphones. We just chat to each other for half an hour, <laughs> an hour, and just chill. We actually might just start going to the pub. Yeah. Dude. Could we actually film from the pub? I gotta, I gotta find, I gotta find someone that runs a pub and try and chat them up to be able to film in a pub. Yeah, that would be so cool. That'd be so much that, fun. Well, that's what um, uh, bloody brilliant beers do. They do yeah. those at the Caxton. That's so cool. Yeah. Can we get in the Caxton? No, it's a bit no, far. No, it is a bit far. Every Wednesday night, that fuck, I want to drive Brisbane. an hour and then to drive home drunk. That Brisbane traffic, fuck yeah. me. Drive home for an hour drunk from Caxton, just plain chance. <laughs> <laughs> just don't get pulled over. They have four points. All right, let's move on to something else. Yeah. What would you like to get into on my side? On your side? Um, who got caught again? Oh, now. I don't know if you've seen this, but Gideon. You know Gideon. Gideon? Yeah, he, isn't he playing at the fucking um, Proud, what, oh, Proudlands, wherever it is? He's playing at a festival soon. Gideon? No, 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 no. Gideon, the um, YouTuber. Gideon? Gideon. I don't know who that is. He, um, he's like a black dude. He's funny as fuck. He's so funny. Um, anyway... He done a meeting up with like a thirteen year old. Oh, EDP. EDP was caught again. Yeah, but no, no G- Gideon's it's the, the dude guy doing it. Okay, yeah, yeah. I know about the EDP. I don't know what the guy. EDP him got was. caught again. Now, dirty can't. Let me stop right here. I thought EDP was dead. <laughs> I thought he was dying. He did some like, oh, four months to live or something like that. I thought he had cancer. Yeah, because remember, yeah. Philly played Kansas City in the um, Super Bowl. Yeah, and everyone was like, "Oh, EDP's gonna die, and his team's gonna win." Yeah, and I was like, "Oh my god, EDP's like, he's a legend. <laughs> he's a legend in these streets, but bro, he's a legend in these I playgrounds. He was dead. No, I remember him saying it four months to live. That was like a, a year ago." <laughs> It was no like um yeah no it would have been yeah it was yeah. a while ago yeah yeah April yeah April and then like this thing I this I saw it the, the um fucking um the moist critical video about it yesterday actually about the new EDP in court again and I was like dirty motherfucker imagine getting caught once being a pedophile and doing it again like how dumb can you be to be caught again like get trapped by and that? then there's like photos of him like wearing makeup and shit it's like. What the fuck? Last time we seen a picture of his, his shit in the toilet. Like, okay, everyone's got their fetishes, like, as in, like, the makeup thing. But it's about to say kids, and I was like, no, no, fuck no, like, everyone, Everyone's got their fetishes as in, like, you know. Yeah, don't, don't, you can't fucking, like, shame for that kind of shit. No, 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 like, that, that's, you know, like, each to their own sort of thing. But when it comes to, yeah, like. Fucking with kids, bro. Kids, like, again, what it's you not a said. Fetish, like, man, you, it's a problem. Okay, you got caught doing it, and then it's like. Okay, yeah, fuck. That was wrong. He should have gone to jail. He didn't. He got out of it because it was like done through fucking YouTube and shit. It wasn't real. Mm. But it's like, bro, you're being caught. Don't do that shit again. Don't have to get fucking caught again, bro. Just, bro just wants to go to jail. Yeah. Maybe it's the thrill of getting caught. The thrill of fucking 13 year olds, man. But see, and then like, I, don't know, I hate to get into the chat, but then you like think, like, has he gone through with anything? That's what I thought as well when I hear about this shit. I'm like, always catch a predator things. You're talking to these 13 year olds. How many real children have they talked to? You know what I mean? And met, Yeah, legit. Because they're meeting up really fast. It's like, fuck. Like, how many more have we done this worth? You know? Yeah. It's fucking fun. ridiculous. Let's start a fucking... If we make some money from the Patreon, let's just go start fucking pedo bashing. Yeah. We'll start our own service and we'll just go lynch them up, get some fucking construction, like, I don't know. Like, what's, what's something like that? I don't know, construction tools? I guess we can't really get weapons. I don't know. Can we get weapons? I don't know. Can we have four weapons? Well, I don't know. We'll get a nail gun. We'll use well, a nail gun. I was gun. thinking we call it um, I Stop Individual Sexual Predators. Oh, so ISIS. ISIS. <laughs> ISIS. <laughs> well, remember, remember when I first, we first did the podcast? I okay, guess it's a pilot reference. We were going to be called the Pedophiles. Yes. Pedo so maybe we files. branch off to another podcast. Yeah. And we just hunt down Britters. Like, nonce hunter. Yes. Nonce, nonce, nonce. And we just go there and just, like, fucking just just do wedge the pedophiles. Yeah. Like, rape them. Mm, yeah. I don't know. We had to say at least one episode. Yeah. Maybe not. Maybe we won't. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe we'll go back to the drawing board for that one. Yeah, we'll, we'll come back to it with that one. We'll come yeah. back to when the Patreon gets a bit more money in it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Also, you guys didn't um, subscribe to the Patreon. So cheers so we, for that. So we, we got couldn't no get subscribers. That. We couldn't get the fucking two vaginas only fans last week. No, we didn't. And also, you know what else we didn't get? 
My diabetes medication. So your, cheers, guys. Your merch. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> you merch. <laughs> we just took the money and put that on our Patreon instead and folded it in. And this is how charities work. <laughs> um, but yeah, fucking say so GoFundMe. Um, because my my mouse died and we want to get it back to New Zealand where it's from. So fly high, fly high, mousey. Can we get a yeah. GoFundMe start so we can but get it's that back? It's like it's just a wireless one, eh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you see batteries, boys. <laughs> um, sort of with what you just said, though. I just wanted to go off because I forgot to mention it earlier. I did decide to, um, yeah, I did ask. Blurb, 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 that one. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to beat that one out. I did ask him, yeah, how much, and then he recommended stay natural. And then I was like, I might actually go back to the doctors and ask again Give some for something else. Well, my mum was saying that apparently there's one that's like 170. Yeah. It is like a month. But she said that everyone that's taken it, Lost weight. It's like size of pounds, something like that. Size of Quick, pounds? yeah. Yes, I know about that. I'll, I was about to talk about it as yeah. well. Okay, yeah. Well, my mum was saying everyone really that, easy to get to. Apparently, yeah. Well, apparently it's easy now. Yeah, it wasn't easy, but now it is. Now they don't fucking just hold it for diabetics. Yeah. Um. But yeah, apparently everyone that took it lost weight. My mum took it, didn't lose weight. But apparently everyone that takes it that has lost weight that my mum knows. That you, they said that you get really sick and that's how you lose weight. And I was like, yeah, oh, just, that like, lose seems. Appetite and shit. I was like, oh, that seems really like good. <laughs> yeah, that seems healthy. But to be life. to be fair, it probably isn't bad. It's probably just your body just getting rid of all the shit, the well, shit toxins. Yeah, it's like your body going to overdrive and just like like you just you just have it lose an appetite. When you smoke meth, you lose an appetite as well. Mm. It's probably the same kind of thing. Your body's just an overdrive well, mode. How easy really is it to get meth? Pretty easy, bro. We'll talk about it after the show. And just next episode. <laughs> <laughs> it's more like a <laughs> Oh okay oh. Don't you Pull a bong oh. It's crystals Yeah okay it's well, Maybe like you can heal up It's on more a like spoon. vaping People talk about smoking meth you, you more like you, It's more like you vape meth really Yeah okay Ah oh, okay There's no water involved Mmm Wow <laughs> We're learning What should we get into next? Well, hopefully meth That's our next drink That's the next drink <laughs> Next drink uh, yeah. I've said it like 18 times on the podcast But one day Why don't you just smoke meth On the podcast Lucius, if any come, of our family, Lucius walks out We're just smoking meth on the- If any of our family Or friends Are listening to this We're not actually Going to smoke All my meth. workmates I, we're, actually, we're not going to smoke meth On the show We'll smoke it after the show And then drive home um, I want to get into One of my things Right, I've got two that are pre-linked yep. um, So what about drowning Okay mm-hmm. And dreams Same kind of thing Right so what I've recently realized from Lucy's tech talks is that I might have sleep apnea, right? I snore really hard. I wake up always feeling tired. I never wake up feeling good. I always just wake up feeling absolute shit, you know? Wow. Sounds like me. Yeah. <laughs> Do you snore a lot? Um, yeah, Caitlin Do said you drool? Yeah. So you if, I, if I'm only in a deep sleep, I'll drool. Yeah. But other than that, I'm pretty sure I do snore, but it's mainly when I'm on my back, so I don't know. Your, your eyes are sore, your mouth dry when you wake up. I wake up tired. Yeah, legit. Yeah. Every night. Every night. No matter how much you yeah. sleep, you're always tired. Yeah. And like that is literally because you breathe through your mouth, like sleep apnea. So I was watching this thing and Lucy's like, oh yeah, well, why don't we just try to tape your mouth shut? See what happens. <laughs> <laughs> that explains. Heard it's good. Looked into it. Try it for two nights. I'm like, I'm like, oh, this actually feels all right. Like, trying to learn how to breathe through my nose, falling asleep, breathing through my nose. I have dreams I'm drowning, bro. Like, actual dying in my dreams, getting a handheld in the water, trying to get up, trying to breathe, drowning in the water again, like, full on having a fucking panic attack I was in my about dream. To say, just hearing that makes me, like, feel like, yeah, I'm being, yeah, I just can't breathe. <laughs> You're not used to bringing this out of your mouth, or sorry, out of your nose. And holy shit, it was a wild experience. I woke up like 18 times a night. Woke up, go, oh yeah, my mouth's closed. Go back to sleep. And <laughs> same dreams, bro. Just back, just back, and just dunk on the water for 20 minutes. Fucking hell. But did um, you wake up tired? I did <laughs> because I keep waking up. But I'm going to keep trying it for another week to see if I can get used to did it my mouth. Hurt? Go- Taking the tape off. Oh, a little bit, a little bit. That's why I had the tape in the room. Surely you can get like a thing that goes like a chin strap. That'd be a good idea, actually. That'd be a really good idea. Because I know they have, you get these masks for it mm. that literally put air through your nose, you sleep so you don't die in your sleep. I was going to say, like, but like, surely, yeah, you can get like a chin strap thing that will yeah, go around. I might your just whole grab head. one of those big hair tie things and put on my chin. And tonight. it will just almost, but then you still will be able to, like, just put jaw opening. I think it's more just keeping your mouth closed because the tape just keeps your mouth closed. Yeah. Um, I feel like you might still be able to be like, yeah. 
This pronoun is bad though. Yeah, I feel, I feel like the whole open mouth is very like <sighs> it's that big like breathe in it. <sighs> no, because that's what it sounds like. Hey, yeah, because I always want the sorest fucking throat. <laughs> Legit, it hurts to do it. In, it hurts to do it in real life. Yeah, we're just sorest fucking throat as well. But yeah, for you mouth breathers out there, sleep with your mouth taped up, and also be scared because you might you could actually die. Yeah, yeah. If your nose is blocked, don't do it. Yeah, well, you know, if also if you die from that, you're weak as fuck. You're beta as fuck. You're actual beta as fuck because like Connor woke himself up because he couldn't breathe. Yeah. If you just die, if you just die and don't wake up, that's it's so sad, sad, bro. It's, it's like maybe you deserve to die. Yeah, that's like Darwin Awards. It's like you just don't deserve life. Although it'd be, that's actually a really good prison trick. Put tape on your asshole and your lips. <laughs> When you're sleeping, you won't wake up with a cock in your mouth. Is it a cock in your dick hole? <laughs> <laughs> this is a cock in your eye. eye. <laughs> in your ear? Yeah, you're like, oh, fuck's sake. Just oh. bubble wrap yourself. Um, What's the... Oh, the dreams was part of it. Part of it. Okay, yeah. Dreams um, about dying, bro. Before this podcast started, I was like, where the fuck's the tape? And Connor walked into the bedroom and I was like, hey. <laughs> it's not that good. Yeah, and Connor's like, no, no. no. I'm just waking up with night terrors. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But bro, it's literally like getting dunked under like bread. L- People try it at home. If you have if you have bad sleep, so you wake up tired. Apparently, you're not supposed to wake up tired every day. What well, What would you do if you woke up? You got the tape on your mouth, but then like Lucy's taped your wrists and your legs together <laughs> as well. Just like shaking. I know. Probably just be shouldn't do much. Could I? <laughs> Imagine if you fell off the bed, bro. Um, fuck, that would suck so much. <laughs> How, how with the boner out? too Fuck that would hurt Oh just land on the boner oh. it's, like, it's like slow going down It's funny how you can Break your cock Oh bro It's so weird eh? I mean have you ever done um, Oh yeah um, Paris warning Paris warning Come have back in a minute reverse cow And they've, your fucking cock Like breaks Yeah no I've, I've had a few <gasps> times Different positions <gasps> Like I've had one Oh fuck It was like I think Just rough ass doggy Popped out Someone hit the middle bit. Yeah, like and the bone sort of like, and just bonk. Like bends, bro. It's like And you just gotta put it back in straight away to kinda of like keep the oh. keep the brace of it. You're like, oh get back in there. So it's gonna go soft. <laughs> get back into it. Oh fuck man, just saying that makes me cringe. Yeah. Speaking of making me cringe. Maz. Oh. I put it in the <laughs> chat the other day. Oh, shit. TikTok haircuts. Yeah, okay. What the fuck is going on? TikTok barbers. You remember no you okay. This dude, this guy's sitting in the chair and he goes, you came to me last time, my haircuts then were 150. He's like, uh, you keep coming back even though, you th- even though you know the rate went up. And he's like, what makes you keep coming back? And the guy's like, oh, you know, it's good to have a barber that like you can have a good relationship with, like chat. Um, he does a really good job. And yeah, it's just worth the money. And then he's like, "Well, you, you now know my new price is one seventy five. And he's like, "Am I doing your eyebrows too?" And he's like, "Yes, please." And he's like, "So that's one ninety all up." Fucking hell! And I, and I was like, one hundred and ninety fucking dollars. Now, mind you, I'm not going to lie; the haircut looks good, but everyone in the comments is going, "I pay fifty, sixty bucks for that." Sixty bucks, and, and they're like, and. They're like, yeah, I pay fifty to sixty dollars for that haircut. This is like a fade. Yeah, it's like yeah. A, it's a nice, it's a nice looking haircut. Yeah, but they're like, and my barber's sweet too. Go to the same guy every time. He's cool, dude. Yeah, it's fifty, sixty bucks. And then my thought was, I've had haircuts free my whole life. Yeah, and like my mum's a hairdresser. She's not a barber. I feel like they're two different things. Yeah, hairdresser more deals with women's hair. Yeah. Um, my mum more deals with older people now. Like she yeah. works in a nursing home. She does older clients, um, etc. So when she does my hair, I've asked her like, "Can you do a fade?" And she doesn't really know how to do it. She yeah. says she tries her best. Doesn't end up being like a fade. It's more of just like it's like a, like, a, like a number one or a zero yeah. on the sides. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And um, yeah. But any other barber, I'm like. One day, eventually, I'm going to have to start paying for haircuts. Probably, who knows? Like, yeah. my mum might just want to be like, you know what? Fuck it, I'm not doing it anymore. 30 bucks. Yeah, well, that's what I'm thinking. Like, $50, 60 I'm like, fuck me, cunt. My local just for it to good. grow back in two weeks? Bro, my one's pretty good. Like, that, that's that's where I got. When I shaved my head, man. When I started growing back, I stopped shaving it. Because so I had to get fucking nice hair for work. Holy shit, cunt, that shit's expensive, man. I started going to those nice places... Got a 50 bucks haircut. 
Got a nice fade. Two weeks later, the fade's gone. Yep. I need to get another haircut to make it go back. I was like, oh, can I just get a trim on the sides? Same price, can't. And they didn't do it yeah. all. I was like, for fuck's sake. That's a rip off. I've man. got a new one, bro, by my work. Let's go there during lunchtime. You're pretty close, like in bundle. Um, he's chill. He's like 30 bucks. Honestly, the fade isn't as clean. It's not like a fucking, you know, razor blade or anything like that. But, dude, it does the job. 30 bucks. Saved me for about three weeks. I'm growing it out a little bit more now, but, you know, yeah. 30 bucks a month, pretty cheap. Yeah. Yeah, well, then I clicked on this dude's profile, and um, he's Australian, by the way, in Melbourne, and like, yeah, he's got a cool little setup, he's got, it's just in a bedroom, it looks like. Well, so he doesn't even have a fucking office, can't even No, 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 it, it, like, it looks cool, like, and, but I said to the group, I was like, I bet he only has, like, a few customers. Yeah. Like, if he's charging that much... You know, yes, he's doing a fucking great job. It looks awesome. Yeah, but... but it's like, fucking hell. One haircut a day would last you. 190 fucking dollars. Yeah. And what? how long does it take to usually get your haircut? Because like, like when my mum does mine, minutes. yeah, about 20, 30 maybe minutes. Like, maybe 30 minutes. I want to get a nice fade and like use a razor and shit like that. Yeah. If you want to get your beard done, maybe like 45. S- see, I'd love to get, like, I'd love to get one. But I just feel like... Cheating on your mum. Yeah, I'm cheating on my mum. Like, it actually... Yeah, in yeah. a way, I do. But I, I don't mind. I'm going to soak it up while I can. Like, get the free... Fuck yeah, bro. Free, free haircuts. That's one thing I don't have to spend money on. Yeah. But yeah, I clicked on this dude's profile and he's trying to she just... mine as well. Trying to justify it? She can. I'll ask her. Yeah. I'll pay your mum. Sounds way better. Yeah, well, I... But she... Again, she doesn't know how to do fades. So, let's get a camera when we're doing the podcast. As we're doing the podcast, we'll just cut, cut our hair we're chatting. Like... <laughs> um... But yeah, click on this dude's profile and he's trying to justify it. And he's like, oh, you know, people pay money for designer clothes, blah, blah, blah. And he's like, you, you, you're spending money to look good. And he's like, why would your hair not be the same? And like, but all how the, does this guy have this rep though? What has he done? Like, I don't know. How do you, how do he be that amazing at cutting hair? I, I, I actually sort of have this weird feeling that I'm like, maybe he doesn't charge that much. Maybe he says that. It's full of so people are like, what the fuck? Yeah. And then he gets the people to sort of lie and be like, yeah, yeah. I like coming back. Actually, it no, seems they, don't, like- they don't really lie. Because if, if he's, all he's asking them is, why do you keep coming back? They're telling the truth. Oh, you do yeah. a good job. I like to talk to you, blah, blah, blah. But maybe he just doesn't charge them that much. Maybe, maybe he charges them like 50 bucks. You go on there, it's like 50. But it's probably to keep us there. Everyone goes, damn, this haircut's so expensive. I want to go to this guy. Yeah. Same with like the whole like, oh, this is a $400,000 $400, steak. And you're like, fuck, I'm so rich. I'm going to go to this place. Yeah. Also, there's a place in Broad which just opened up that has gold, like well, 100 gold carrots with like that steaks. steak. Yeah. yeah. Might go try one once again, a new Apparently bonus. It's small. It's this like 200 gram steak, yeah. Oh my God. I'm going to go grab it next time I get my bonus and fucking take a Snapchat for the boys. My cock's not even 200 grams. <laughs> Oh, yeah, Paris, you could probably come back now. Oh, yeah, sorry, Paris. But in, like, see you guys. Have a good week. Yeah, I don't know how she would know, but yeah. Um, but yeah, I just, I can't justify, um, I can, I can probably justify $50, $60, but I can't justify $190 to get your eyebrows done too. Like, 60 bucks, you want your eyebrows, your beard done. Everything's manicured perfectly. This cunt I went to, did my sideburns, did my beard, um, did a nice, like, not fade, but like, you know, shave the sides. Keep the clock clean, thirty bucks. Well, the, w- the worst video I saw on his profile was this guy had he had like a taper fade, sort of yeah. like the one that's sort of like a sort of like a mohawk mullet sort of yeah, vibe yeah. sort of thing. And um, the guy's like talking to him. He's like, "Oh, last time you came here, it was one hundred and eighty. It's now one hundred and ninety. What- whatever the fucking price." Bro's just putting up for inflation. He's like, "Oh, mate, it's inflation." Whatever the ridiculous price oh, for twenty five minutes, two hundred bucks. And he goes, he goes, "What makes you come back?" And then he's like, "You were here what, like two weeks ago?" And the guy's like, "On oh, last Saturday." <laughs> and he's like, "He's like, oh yeah." He's like, "Yeah." So what makes you like want to come back? And he's like, "Oh, you're just really good. You do a good job." He's like, "I actually drove two hours from um like wherever." And I was like, "Um, you got a haircut last fucking." Saturday and you paid the same you paid less last week and you gotta pay more this week. Yeah. Bro's putting it up every week. <laughs> but then then Bro's he got, coming back. Then instead of that fade, he got the just the normal fade. Yeah. And I was like I was like, cunt. Like what? Just for it literally fucking you know go crazy? away. For the same price, you could buy a literal razor 
Okay. Like, a, like a buzz cutter, like a, like a fucking full, like, 80 different settings cunt. Yeah. And just do it yourself. If you're just getting, if you're, if you're getting it faded every week, by the way, as well, you can easily manage that. Because yeah. just shave. Well, you know, shave. another thing, too, what I've seen now is there's these, like, um, I want to say, like, what's the word? It's, it's almost like a template. It's like a fucking fade template. So it starts off, like, low. Yeah. But then it gets so, it starts off, like, really thin, yeah. like this. And then it gets thicker towards the end. Yeah. Right? And wherever you want the fade to start, you just hold it there and then use your... Yeah, up. legit. So you're literally learning to fade yourself. Yeah. The only thing is at the back, I actually saw a funny video. Someone's like learning to fade and he's like, he's like lining it up. And I'm like, oh, that looks like... He's like sort of got it even both sides of the ear. And he's like, now this is the hard part. And then he's like showing the back of his head. <laughs> and like, it was so bad. And then the next... Clip, he's just bald. And he's like, yeah, he's like, all good, hair grows back. I'll see you guys in like a couple months. Yeah, legit. I'm going to try again. Yeah, legit, bro. That's like, yeah, fair enough. That's what I'd be like as well. Like, I'd be like, shave off. Like, nah, I better shave the whole thing, eh? Yeah. Yeah. That's how mustaches go, bro. You trim too much. Like, oh, yeah. like hell, shave well, it off. <clears throat> it happened one time. I um hate when it grows over the lip. Yeah, bro. And I usually get my mum to do it when she does my hair. Yeah. And uh, one time she just, I mustn't have asked. And um, I went to do it myself and I fucking angled it wrong and actually took, like, <laughs> there. Like, in the middle. Yeah, like sort of, like, just, like, f- a, from the middle. Yeah. And I was like, cunt. Well, that looks ridiculous. And I was like, I'm not shaving up to there. I'm not yeah. shaving that part. And then I was like, well, there it goes. So I shaved it off. When I saw Caitlin, she was like, Why? Why? And I was like, oh, do you not love me anymore? She's <laughs> it's like, like that, eh? She, she like just gave me the look. She's like, why though? And I was like, oh, well, I fucked it up. And she's like, no, you could have left it. And I was like, nah. Right I was on. like, I couldn't because like, it's one of those things that maybe you wouldn't notice, but I was like, yeah, I'm, it's annoying. I see. It's like missing one or two hairs. You just feel it. Or fucking- have you ever fucking um, done a... Trim, yeah, and then you've had like one longer hair, yeah, and you're like, oh it. fuck, yeah, it. you just feel it, and then you're in public, and you're like, fuck, does, like does he notice? Cut out. It? Yeah, yeah, does, he, does, does Connor know? Is Connor looking? Yeah, I'll, like, at I'll it? trade my neck and miss a few bits. Yeah, I'm like fuck, I can feel them. Yeah, but um, <laughs> I just said it with loose. Like, remember after I shaved my head, she liked it, and now I was like, the other day I was like, fuck, can't get sick of hair. I might shave again. She's like, don't shave it. So like, grow it out a little bit more, and I was like, oh, what the fuck? The girl told me to shave my head originally. Yeah, and nah. I was like, I was like, I might shave my mustache and beard, and she's like, nah, keep it. Like, I was like, oh, it's different. Now no. you know how ugly I look with my bare lips. I think everyone looks good with shorter hair. Girls? Um, no. All guys look better with shorter hair. And I feel, like, I feel like there's only one exception is probably surfer dudes. Yeah, like Chris Hemsworth. Nah. Huh? Nah, I think he suits shorter hair. Okay. He's good, like, he's good looking anytime. Who has long hair? Bobby Lee. He can pull off long Bobby hair. Bobby Lee? I don't know, Jared Leto? Yeah. He has nice looking hair. Yeah, he's got nice looking long hair. Uh, I'm trying to think who else, like guy wise. County Reeves. Yeah. Looks better with long yeah, hair. Yeah, he can pull it off. Um, Skicking gay, gay chat podcast. Yeah, we just, the last, what, five, ten minutes have just been razor talk, haircuts, and. Yeah. Barber Boys. Barber Boys. <laughs> All right. Um, I've got one more thing on there. It's about clients. Oh, no, you've got another thing. Oh, yeah, it's going to be sad. Might get into that first. We'll leave that at the end. Yeah, it's a bit of a vigil. Um, yeah, so I've got a thing about clients, right? Yeah. So now I'm getting more into my job. I'm getting more more clients. I'm getting more like like low-tier t- low, low tier celebrities because big celebrities oh. don't really need loans. Like low-tier, like I had one of the one of the guys. Anyone that, that we can beep out? Um, we wouldn't know in names, but pretty big Australian. He played the – he played – um, uh, what's it called? He played Harry Potter in the Harry Potter musical – Oh, yeah. Recently, the cursed child, he was playing him. Oh, that's Can't afford good. a house anymore because the musical's finished. Really sad. Are we allowed to have that on the podcast or we actually got to beep him out? I didn't say his name, so it should be. Yeah, you fine. did. What? You said something Childs. Hmm? Austin Childs? Or no, something? no, the cursed child. Like Harry Potter and <laughs> the musical. No, it's fine. Okay, I didn't say yeah. his name. It's fine. That's, that's, that's plausible, not Um but we had a few, like, I've had a few, like, footy and uh, also AFL players coming through my, like, know. things. Like, retired? Yeah, yeah. And, bro, as soon as that contract's over, their income's fucked. Yeah. It's, it's, they're still making more money than I do, or, like, you do, you know what I mean? Yeah. But it's like, damn, like, these guys were making, like, bank before, and they had these nice houses and shit. They can't even afford them anymore. Yeah. Like, 
dude, like, honestly, I always thought, like, the whole thing was, like, you know, become a footy star, your life set. If you don't get a good career, if you don't become, like, Wally Lewis or fucking Thurston That's or even, the- like, Kronk, fucking, you're fucked, man. That's the downfall of Australian sports is... They can't afford to pay these big contracts. Like, NRL's no. getting a lot better now. Like, there's more and more million-dollar contracts yeah. now. But, like, for the, for the small guy, they're, the minimum's, like, 150. You're running, like, a Bunnings afterwards. Yeah. Like, yeah, but, like, I think one thing now, like, especially the NRL, I don't know much about AFL or anything else. Yeah. But one thing about the a- a- NRL is I I've know... I've got an AFL player one of my clients, too. Well, I know um, part of the NRL now is they have, like, pathways to, like, um, you ha- you have to, like, do something else. Get a trade. You become a scaffolder. All the, all the warriors get, get no, into I th- scaffolding I think glass. You, I think you have to get, like, you have to do something else. Like, you have to be, do, like, diplomas. Yeah, yeah. So you have, like, a pathway. You know, like, a bachelor's like degree. Real estate of, or something like, like that. Yeah, real yeah. estate or business. That way, yeah. like... At least you don't just guys being homeless. <laughs> well, at least NRL, like I guess it might be a sort of thing where it's like once they're done, like we don't feel guilty for them dying. Yeah, but like, hey, we can't afford to pay anymore. Sorry, don't lose your job. You get paid forty k a year. You know, working at fucking Macca's now or something. Yeah. But yeah, so and that's why like a lot of players, like I, I can't remember who was the first, but Sean Johnson was one that came to mind. He started it. SJ clothing brand or yeah, SJ7 yeah. or something. And, like, I don't know what it was. I think it might just be shirts and stuff. Mm. But, like, yeah, he was one of the first ones. Den and Kemp, he does bloke in a bar beer. Yeah, yeah. He does the bloke podcast. you got to branch out. Yeah. The best way to do it is branching out or starting something like that while you're still playing. Yeah. It's the only way you can do it. Yeah, well, a couple of the Storms. Because you can't all get fucking commentator jobs. A couple of the Storm players have sort of done that. They call, theirs is called, like, the... um. The American Sports Clubhouse or something because yeah. they're I'm pretty certain they're all into like NFL, yeah, like baseball. Um, and show that NBA. I don't know about baseball, but like golf. No one's into baseball. No, it's like it's it's Koreans are. That's it's about a it. shit version of cricket. They tried to make their own. It's not good. Yeah, I quite enjoy like betting on it. Betting on it, yeah. That's about it. <laughs> yeah, same as like basketball. Like basketball's really fun to bet on. Then watching it, like especially the FIBA lately, fuck, it's sad to watch. Yeah. Can't. It's so boring. Mm. Like fucking hell, I won't get into it too much because Australia fucking died. Yeah, but yeah, they yeah. did. Fucking hell, man! Like all you sportsmen out there, fucking cheers for making the last like ten years of me watching stuff enjoyable. But I'm so sorry for people like you know like Tyrone Peachy comes to mind. Yeah, you're gonna be fucked in two years, bro. You yeah, know, legit. Yeah, yeah, like. No one's going to remember your name. Like you're he is be, Aboriginal, so he'll get some benefits. He'll get a yeah. house or a yeah. fucking V eight or something. Yeah, he gets he like no petrol though. He gets let go, and um, he's like, oh, racist. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. The team he gets he gets in charge of the whole team afterwards. Yeah. Um. But yeah, what else do you have to go on? From We've got that two afterwards? more things. We've got two more things. What do you want to get into? Both sort of. Will go into each other. So they both are the the opposite extremes. Well, both will go into each other. All right, we'll so start with Andre. Andre the Giant. So I saw this this afternoon. Apparently, one time he and like a few other WWF wrestlers at the time um, were on a fourteen hour flight from Tokyo back to the US, and apparently Andre the Giant took the biggest shit <laughs> ever ever recorded. <laughs> apparently. <laughs> And um, one of the other WF superstars said that everywhere they went, every city they went, he would eat 20 pounds of food, which means he's taking a 20-pound shit. Yeah, okay. And um, apparently this shit was so bad that everyone on the plane started to throw up, (laughs) get so sick. Um, I don't know if they had to, like, land anywhere, (laughs) but apparently it was really bad. It stunk out the whole plane. (laughs) That's fucking hilarious. And uh, for anyone that doesn't know, this guy's like what, like seven foot eight? Or? Yeah, he's he's a giant. He's fucking like you. Everyone would know him just seeing a picture of him. Oh, yeah. he's that guy. He's so big that he has a regular can of beer in his hand. It looks like one of these cans. Yeah, like, it looks like a fucking like two fifty mil can. It's insane. He um, I think he also held or holds the record for like most alcohol consumed. Yeah, most beers drunk. Yeah, yeah. it's ridiculous. It's probably broken now, but like. Yeah. Yeah. But he drank, how many was it? It was like fucking like 60 something beers. Oh, probably. It's and ridiculous. he was probably still walking. Yeah, and just in a, in a Driving, road, just actually. chatting. Like, yeah, he drove home that night. He yeah. drove to the pub and got some more. Yeah. Um. So, 
I was going to segue into my other topic, but now that I'm on this topic, I had this little conversation with Cooper on the weekend. Um, talking about drinking, right? There should be a drinking Olympics. And now my <clears throat> my thoughts on it is not... <clears throat> it's not, oh, who who's the best country at beer pong? Like, yeah, okay, you could do that. But I was thinking, right, everyone has one person selected from their nation or maybe a couple... Maybe it's like a team thing. Yeah. And it's like... Um, Just there's, who can drink them? There's, Who's the most alcoholic? There's different stages. So there's like an open group, which is you drink anything. But then there's like a spirit. Specialist, there's like yeah. a... Yeah, like a bourbon specialist, a beer specialist. Because like, I'm not good with beer, but I'm good with these. Yeah, I can pump rum. Yeah. So I'm saying like, imagine that like... And it's just basically everyone is handing a drink at the exact same time. You can tap out whenever you want. But, like, it's basically last man standing. And there's referees there to see any spillage. Drink off. Yeah, it's just a drink-off. Is this how we're going to end the boys' lunch? But how cool would that be? <laughs> Imagine that. You're standing on the podium and you're, like, in third place, Australia. Yes. Who's first? It's, yes. like, I don't know, like, Germany Finland or something. Yeah, Germany. Germany. So, yeah. Ah, nine. <laughs> nine. Yeah, that's really good drinking. Americans can drink, can't Appar- they? Apparently, per capita, Australia. Yeah, it makes the sense. Best Australia has like some the of the most harshest Aboriginals. alcohols. Yeah, no, they can't drink for shit. They're pussies. If you think you're better than us, come on the show and try and drink more than us. You'll drink two things and you'll get arrested because I'll kick you out. <laughs> I'll call the police and they'll probably take you. <laughs> Not believe me over you. Yes, I'm moving from this country. I get more rights. How sad is that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Vote no. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> let's get into that. No, let's. I not. can't even vote, but I'm trying my citizenship really fast so I can vote no. <laughs> um, <laughs> well, yeah, okay. Let's get off that. But, yeah, right. A beer Olymp. Uh, sorry, a alcohol Olympics would be cool. I fucking love that. Shit. It'd be fun as fuck. Yeah, because I because I was thinking I was like, oh, it would be boring if it was like, oh, who's the best country at beer pong? Yeah, because it's like, oh, that's that doesn't really say who's an alcoholic. No, so I feel like a proper drink off, like fucking everyone's. Yeah, like, how is the hot dog in contest? Yeah, I was literally yeah, about yeah, to say yeah. that everyone's lined up on this fucking long ass fucking table, and it's, like and it's basically like beers, shots. It's whatever. basically just like this: bang, you're handing a drink, I'm handing a drink at the same time, and it's just like you finish it, yeah, and you're like, you know, let's just say you do that, and then you like, it's well, not, it's not a time thing. I've got a way, to, I've got a way to do it actually, like a way to add on to it. So everyone on the stage has the beer, and it goes for how much? It goes. It stops from the. It, there's like a time limit, right? So there's like a five minute time limit for each, or ten minute time for each drink. But when everyone finishes, the last person to finish it, it goes boom. Next one starts. Yeah. As no. soon as next the last person finishes it, yeah. or second to last person finishes it, then the last person has to finish yeah. something like that. But still have a time limit. But it'll also be like boom, vegans finish yeah. next one, next one. Well, my thought was well, time it starts when the first person finishes it, or something like that. Well, my thought was. It's not a time thing. It's more just who can last the longest while drinking the most. Yeah. So, like... But you need a time limit, because otherwise, like... No, but say it's... A, oh, Connor's been on stage for three hours now, 16 beers in, and then it's like, whilst Johnny from the US, he's only 14 beers in. Yeah. So, you're, you're ahead... So he's yeah maybe maybe it's like as soon as you finish yours, There's a time the next starts. one comes on yeah, but yeah, yeah like he can be like a couple drinks behind, but it's just basically who can last the longest. Yeah. Or maybe like you get two ahead, you, like you last on by two, it becomes like a timer thing or something yeah. like that. Yeah, yeah, he's got five minutes to yeah, and, and if let, you say I can't do more, he's got to finish those two before your timer stops or something like yeah. that. Yeah, and you say, oh, it's kind of like how in cricket you like you what's it called where you like um declare. Yeah. Like you're 10 ahead and you're like, I'm going to stop here. He's got 10 minutes to finish all the next beers. Damn, we just, it was rules into it. I love yeah. this game. Let's, Let's start go. this. Let's do this. Gets Who's banned keen? the first year because someone dies. No, you can't die. Okay. Alcohol poisoning is a myth. The, the guy from Samoa kills half the audience. Well, no, the thing is, <laughs> alcohol poisoning and cancer are, are literally a myth. That's what we're going to do TRT. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get on TRT and see how much more we can drink. Yes. They're probably not. No. We'd probably die. <laughs> we might actually die. <laughs> speaking of and dying. And go bald. Speaking of dying. Oh, is this the last person? Wait, what? I'm going to get into mine after Oh, you. okay. I was going to say, fuck, I haven't heard about this one. Because I can't segue. Yeah. Well, yeah. I'll, I'll go on to it. <laughs> um, this is a sad one. Um, no jokes um, allowed. But hey now. You're an all-star. You're a tombstone. 
<laughs> Never gonna get laid. Um, <laughs> so uh, Steve Hartwell, um, the singer of Smash Mouth, has sadly passed away at 54 years old um, from alcohol. He had liver failure, an alcoholic. Um, <laughs> so it's, it's, it's not a bad segue. Yeah. Um, so dive drinking. And also I probably would too if I fucking pumped it all and had a really good early thousands. Oh, yeah. Like uh, two thousand, yeah, early thousands, yeah, <laughs> not thousands, two thousands. Man, what else would it be? Not the one thousands or the fucking well, three thousands. Have to clarify, this could well, be played in the year thirty. True, that is true. I forget that we're timeless. Um, digital age, yes, the early two thousands. Um, he, I don't know. Smash Mouth came. They had a meteoric rise, like nine ninety eight. Yeah. Was like walking in the walking over summer or something like if that. If you didn't know Shrek, yeah, Shrek. Hey now, you're an all star. Oh, come on. on, that's too good. Yeah, sorry, I that's can't get too realistic. <laughs> um, and they had a few songs like that. Um, they also did a cover of Unbeliever as well, and Shrek as yeah. well. Um, they had a song called that's Walking on the Sun. Fun. Also a good song from Mystery Men, I believe. Um, but yeah, they had a good three years, and because of the hit One Hit Wonder. Um, also, he made the um, goatee cool, the old, yeah. the old clit tickler, the yeah. old the old flavor saver, as they call it. Yes, and I think I'm going to grow one for next episode. A soul patch, a soul patch. Yeah, just for him. Just yeah. to say thank you. Yes, and we'll dye it black. Yes, yeah. yes. Just get eyeliner. Um, one thing that I have to sort of laugh about about this situation not not him dying at all, but our mate Alistair, we brought him up plenty of times. Yeah, comes in the chat or oh, rip smash mouth. <laughs> so no, no. Smash Mouth's not dead, bro. It's the one guy. It's not the Smash whole. Mouth's dead, bro. <laughs> he's, he's, the whole band's not dead. They just died in a plane crash. Like it was Smash Mouth. But yeah, he's like rip Smash Mouth. I'm like, what? <laughs> <laughs> they didn't all die, bro. That's good, bro. That's good. Uh, that's yeah. Can't wait till um you watch the Avengers game and you're like, oh Tony Stark dies. I'll like, oh, rip Avengers. Yeah, <laughs> rip Avengers. Oh, rip it. Well, technically, in a way. Oh, I guess they kind of disbanded. Yeah, they're all shit now. Oh, speaking Who's the leader now Is it Spider-Man? Of, probably Wanda But apparently they're killing her off So Yeah, they already killed her off She's coming back though No, apparently not Apparently they're cancelling her Really? Yeah I don't know I know they changed the Agatha name um, All I know is now that Ironheart um, I saw a thing today It was Ironheart um, cancelled Good fucking god, man That was terrible She was bottom, so shit The bottom caption was like um, Marvel audience no one gives a fuck. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, oh, great. I forgot it was coming and out. And I was like, who the fuck is Ironheart? Is that chick I was from like, Wakanda forever? I was like, isn't... Oh, I haven't seen it. Oh, yeah. Okay. Forever. I haven't seen it. Yeah. But yeah, I was like... Um, it was like fucking Bumblebee, bro. I was like, isn't Ironheart meant to be fucking Iron Man's daughter? Nah. So the, the character makes sense in the movie. Okay. Some around black chick. But like, she looks like fucking Bumblebee. The costume's so bad. Okay. And she was so pushed into it. It's like, oh, she's black? Let's put her in Wakanda forever. Oh wow! Yes, yeah, so the Marvel racism. Yeah, that movie also sucked so well, badly. Speaking of a racist, Jesse. Jesse. No, he's not friend. a racist. Um, Jesse's the only one that's joined the Pooh League. I haven't even joined it yet. Yeah, Connor hasn't. I'll joined join it tonight. I'll take a batch after this. I just show. had to bring it up because it's funny. Because um, yeah. So when you log a poo, so it comes up like where 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 did you where did you poo? Oh, home, gym, yeah. work, whatever. And then gym sheds. Yeah. I take a shit before the gym. So, yeah. so I want to start straining too hard at the gym. Yeah, yeah. Well, imagine doing a squat and fucking turd just plops yeah, out I like, before I leave. Ooh. I'm just my gym is so disgusting. But I go from here to the gym, from work to the gym. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, <laughs> just go here. I left the gym, came here, come back to the gym after. I sleep at the gym. I'm homeless. I sleep. I shower at the gym. Um, like, I sleep on the like squat rate last week. Yeah, the legit. yeah. Um, no, yeah. So it says like. Yeah, where'd you shit and then like describe the shit. You can take a photo. But I don't know why you would do that. That's pretty disgusting. You can rate your shit out of five stars. Yeah. Uh, it's just funny though. Like it pops up whenever you have a f- someone that you're following. So I'm yeah. following Jesse. Jesse's Take a shit. <laughs> and he's like, oh, Jesse just dropped a uh, a bomb in the in the white porcelain. <laughs> or like the, the, I don't know, something. Like it would say something. Yeah. Oh, this one sank harder than the submarine. Like, something like that. <laughs> just this week fucked up. Like, this one sank harder than the Titanic submarine. Like, <laughs> Yeah, but, but like, like... just I want to do it. I want to... Okay, yeah. Oh, no, sorry. It, yeah, it's just funny. Like, and then, like, I click on it and, like, it comes up and Jesse's, like, described his shit. Like, oh, yeah, really good. Um, Like, started strong, finished, like, pretty slow. Um, Not my greatest shit. 
like just shit like that. <laughs> I love it. It's so, so good. So like now I've tried to just start describing mine. I think yeah. mine yesterday was like started strong, finished strong, overall eight out of ten. Yeah. <laughs> like honestly hurt coming out, but felt good when I got there. <laughs> but it's funny as like you click on their profile and you see their poo stats. Yeah. Like Jesse's is like one one point six poos a day. I'm like, oh, I need to get them numbers up. Mine's at like two point nine six. Fucking hell, that's a lot of shits, mate. Bro, you got to. I don't shit the night before. I shit in the morning, usually, and I yeah. shit probably twice. I'll probably like twice at work, actually. Yeah, bro, at three. Yeah, see, I would, I go, so. Um, different on weekends, probably bef- Weekdays and weekends are different. Probably before little lunch, so before yeah. 8 a.m., yeah. I'm doing a shit. Yeah. And then everyone at home's like, this is disgusting. Like, what is the fuck's And the then show? probably after lunch, I might take one. Or take one at the gym and then probably one before dinner, maybe. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. But I get that. I my asshole bleeds after. most of the time, so. <laughs> it's just the fucking, bro. Yeah, that could be it. Yeah. T- That's why I've got to wear tape damn, on my Damn, I took a shit. That's like on the deck. You're like, what? That's why I've got to take a, um, yeah. Connor just dropped a bomb, man. It's like me on holiday in the US. I'm like, in the White House. And they just get fucking swiped, swarmed, mate. <laughs> um, it's funny, though, because like, yeah, when you see like the poo log, Jesse says, um, like he p- done a shit at work and it's like preferred toilet <laughs> in pref- parentheses. Yeah. I don't know what mine is, but yeah, it says Jesse's preferred toilet is the. Mine will probably work, work as well, honestly. I shit way more at work. Yeah. Because you're at company work. Time. You're at yeah. work. Mm. So I fucking work like 10 hours a day. Yeah. yeah. Um, well, that's all we have this week. Yeah. L- lots body. of shits. Um, have you stayed this long? You're a bit fucking weird, aren't you? But you're also a sick cunt. Yeah. Join our poo, lo- poo logging um, society. Yeah. It's poo maps. It's literally a fucking poo emoji on a map. And we'll have the link in like the... I'll put it on the screen if you're watching, but I'll also put it in the description if you're just listening. Copy it, paste it in, join the fucking league and get shitting. Next week, we shave a beer. What? So I'm just going to say something every, different every week now. We shave a beer. Yeah. Okay. Um, next week, hopefully we have a guest. Mm. But yeah, sorry, um, sorry for, sorry for being, sorry for Smash Mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, Smash Mouth died. I'm lucky. I'm autistic. See you guys. Bye.